there's a bunch of them, but the best one that we've seen so far is Don, uh, D-O-N, uh, which is not available, which is a, which is a, a crime. That should be that should be the number one cancer drug in the in the world is Don, um, especially when used in small dosages when the glu when the glucose levels are pulsed uh, or pressed. So so Don would be the the pulse uh, restricting glucose would be the press, and together. Uh, you can kill cancer cells effectively while enhancing the health and vitality of the normal cells. And that's why we built the glucose ketone index calculator to allow people to know when they're in the zone of nutritional ketosis. So then you can start pulsing uh, uh, the glutamine with Don, Don targeting drugs. Why is Don not available? They said it was too toxic. Um, they used it on kids with leukemia and they used it on some other solid tumors. It had some therapeutic benefit um, but they said, oh, it was too toxic. But when you compare it to doxorubicin and some of these others, it's not nearly as toxic as some of the drugs we're currently treating patients with. And they didn't know how to use it. They used it in an incorrect way. They were not targeting glucose at the same time. You can't get really a handle on cancer unless you target the two fuels driving the dysregulated growth. So you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta use Don when, you, when, you're, when, you're, when you're holding uh, the press on glucose. You got to keep that glucose low. Then when Don comes in, you can use half, much lower dosages and get tremendous therapeutic efficacy. And embendazole, parasite medication, that can also target glucose and glutamine. Uh, but you, all, all of this works better when the body is in nutritional ketosis. So that's step one, get the body into nutritional ketosis, and then you come in with these glucose glutamine pulsing drugs.